इवन बिफोर वी टॉक अबाउट जो भी है ये सब सबसे पहले वॉट वॉट यू नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड इट वॉट इज एन एंटिटी राइट सो बिजनेस एंड प्रोडक्ट आर टू एंटिटीज अब बिजनेस इज लाइक मैथ्स लाइक थ्री इन इट सेल्फ थ्री का नंबर इन इट सेल्फ हैज नो वैल्यू राइट बट थ्री कार्स basically you can count 1 2 3 right so business is similarly like that is is an entity which does not exist in the real world but it starts having value when you tie it to a product right a, like for example if a product is there in which you have to spend 10 dollars and you get a return of like 20 dollars that is something that is that you call as a business right so business is an entity which only exists when product exists Alongside it, like for example, Clear Trip. If product is not there, for example, how will they make revenue? So business is an entity which eventually follows this math that revenue minus cost is equal to profit, and it can only happen when the product simultaneously exists. If there is no product, business can't exist. Karega. A business always tries to make itself self-sustainable. That if there is a business which does not generate a profit. it would need outside funds you see a lot of startups raising money why because they are a business but they are not a sustainable business a sustainable business always is revenue minus cost is equal to positive profit where it's a positive profit you say are yaar business bootstrapped hai you talk about this and you say a business is bootstrapped which can support on itself right so if profit is not there funds are needed to ensure that this equation is met for the business to be sustainable ye bhi baat samajh mein aayi now the next part is product as an entity product is a living entity like like an app it's a living entity you interact with it it's not like business which only exists because the product exists so think of a product as a living entity which follows the equation that a product make jo bhi engagement ho raha any engagement in the product should aid to the sustainability of a business for example let's assume you start thinking of clear trip and you want to eventually buy a plane ticket from chandigarh to let's assume bangalore for example right now you go to the product you open the app so it's a real entity you can interact with it you select a flight ticket and you eventually make a payment you actually did a action you actually went to a flight clicked on the right flight and you eventually went through a user journey right which eventually led to the business becoming sustainable business growing revenue so product is an entity which exists by sustainable engagement in the app sustainable engagement ka matlab kya hota hai the engagement that the product manager wants so necessary engagement on the product side which creates service value for the end user value kya thi tumhari ticket kharidna so a ticket a person who purchases a ticket is basically the value which leads to growth of a metric what is the metric the metric is basically you buying a plane ticket or number of users who buying a plane ticket which eventually aids or propels the business what you have to eventually do is that you have to aid any engagement in the product any any effort like if flipkart mein jaake log khareede nahi if people don't buy on flipkart and eventually just sign up will it propel the business it will not a product is an entity jahan pe necessary engagement hota hai which pro pro propels the business equation what is the business equation revenue minus cost is equal to profit so a business and product have to work hand in hand to support a value driven service so all of the product managers in the world they try to figure out what action should be done on the app so that people eventually people eventually propel the business equation of revenue minus cost is equal to profit ki koi bhi aisa action app pe karana jisse ye business ki equation propel nahi hoti does not make any sense so there are four types so four types of major documents a product requirement document a second is a business requirement document third is a functional requirement document and fourth is a design requirement document we will start with the business requirement document now what does a business requirement document totally mean break down these words business requires something that's a business requirement document that a business at that it's a document written by the business guys so that they can implement something some feature something which propels the business equation what is the business equation revenue minus cost is equal to profit 
right? It's a document written by the business guys, the marketing guys, the sales guys, the operations guys. And this is a document that they eventually want to write, which can propel the business equation. So who is the value receiver here? It's the business, which is the value receiver. So for example, I am a sales guy and I want a feature to be implemented because it will help me generate more sales right so i am the value receiver so this is the doc document that i will write which i will give to the product guys and say that if you implement this feature i will be able to generate revenue of 1 million dollar right so here who is the value receiver can you tell me who the person who writes the document is the value receiver business is the value receiver who writes the business requirement document who is the value generator it's the product which is the value generator here because the product will the product team will eventually generate that build that feature and business will be able to sell that feature what what should be the part of this document i told you business ka matlab product nahi hota the value of the document would be that i will write a certain certain document which will tell that it should propel the business equation so any document should be written in terms of revenue minus cost is equal to profit like you see a typical brd here to implement a chatbot feature which is not it's just a suggestion so on the website to convert more leads and improve the conversion from 5% to 7%. So uh, in a business requirement document, everybody will write like this to implement a chatbot feature, which will convert more leads so that my revenue can grow from $1 million to $10 million. So any business requirement document ka objective hamesha business lines pe hoga. Like the business objective to implement a chatbot feature on the website to convert more leads in the signup process from 5% to 7%. And this is the core objective or objective a line ka chahiye. It should just be a one line objective in which people understand that we want to drive the paid conversion from 5% to 7%. Now, once the objective is written in that in a typical PRD, the next step that in any document, whether it's a BRD, whether it's a PRD, whether it's a DRD, whether it's a FRD, the next thing is why do we want to do? So the, so the next part would be that currently we have 1000 plus visitors visiting on our website and out of which only 5% are captured. And the standard behavior on a typical ad tech business is 10%. That's why we need to implement a chatbot. The first part of a business requirement document is to write the business objective. It can be growing revenue, it can be reducing cost, it can be improving profit, it can be improving the paid conversion. This is a business ke objective. Hai, right? The next part would be, can I talk about the pain points? Pain points, mein mein bola, yaar, there are 1000 people who come to my website, out of which I only capture 5%. Can I grow it to 10%? Right. And then the third part would be the high level solution that is suggested that the business is suggesting to the product team that why don't you implement a chatbot feature which will help me do that. Now, this, this can be put across by the product team. This cannot be because the product team now understands that my objective is to grow the paid conversion and business is suggesting a chatbot feature. When you three points cover, then you typically talk about the detailed flow in a BRD. Then business mentions that, okay, the first part is the objective. Second point is why should we do it? Third point should be some solution that we are suggesting. Fourth point would be the detailed structure of the solution that we are suggesting a chatbot feature and the detailed flow would be a user should land on the homepage. Then a as a, if the user spend more than 10 seconds on the page, then a pop-up should trigger. The, and we should ask the email ID and phone number of the user. We can typically ask what are what courses are you looking for? And then all of these things, once they are captured, we tell the end user that, okay, now our team will contact you. And eventually this is something that, that will happen. Fourth step. The first step is objective. Second step is why it should be done. Current pain points. Third step is high level solution. Fourth step is the detailed flow of the solution that a user should land on the home page. If a user spends more than 10 seconds on the home page, a pop-up should trigger. The pop-up should ask multiple questions like your name, your email ID, and which courses are you looking for? The number of courses, once you're looking for, if everybody gives the entire details, and then that our executive will reach out to you to shortly. Once the detailed flow is done, the next step is we will write the metrics. 
which metrics will move so business will say that the total lead conversion should actually grow from 5 to 7% and the lead quality which is lead to sales conversion should grow from 10 to 11%. So fifth step is which metrics will improve? Kisi bhi solution ko implement karne ke liye metric pata hone chahiye na which metrics should improve? So we will say that the metrics of number of people who actually fill our lead form should grow from 5 to 7% and the number of people who fill the lead form and actually convert into a paid user should grow from 10 to 11%. So this makes it very clear that business ka objective ye hai. So the BRD ka pehla document hoga objective. Grow traffic to lead conversion from 7% to ye aage objective. Then aega current pain points. That currently our lead conversion is 6% and we want to grow it to 10% which is standard for edtech businesses. Current pain points like the then solution suggested implement a chatbot. Then detailed flow that a user ends 10 seconds and a pop-up opens. We get the details. Our team will reach out. Ye bhi ho gaya. Detailed flow ke baad hum likhenge metrics. Increase in traffic to lead conversion. Increase in lead to sales conversion. Detailed flow is just for the business to understand. To business to under, uh, for for the product to understand just it can be the same it cannot be the same right metrics be ho gaya. these metrics are given by the business people then the next part would be the non goals non goals basically mean that if we implement the pop up existing lead forms should not drop in efficiency non goals ka basically matlab samajh mein aaya non goals ka matlab hota hai that Existing features should not start performing poorly. Baat samajh mein hai, existing features should exist as it is. And the last thing is that is something that is called as the operational checklist. That we should have proper analytics. Without analytics, how will you implement? Like, I'll just quickly share my screen. So non-goals basically mean that based on implementing this feature, right? It should not so happen that your existing features should perform poorly that is a non goal and finally is the operational checklist that there should be proper analytics to measure the metrics there should be information given to the sales team to talk to these leads so operational checklist basically kya hota? operational checklist is what are the things which need to be done by the analytics team, the sales team. Ab tumne feature implement kar diya. For example, for example, you imp implemented the feature. If the sales team is not aware, that is something that has to be put across by the business team itself. That once the product team implements this feature, this should be communicated to the operations team, to the sales team, to the marketing team. This should be implemented. That is a part of the operational checklist. And there should be, and one more thing it should be the part of the operational checklist. Proper analytics should be input. If analytics is not there, you would not be able to measure the success of the solution. Seven points should be part of the BRD. Number one, the business objective. Second, the overall reason why we are implementing third high level solution. Fourth, detailed flow. Fifth, metrics. Sixth, Non goals, seventh operational checklist. Yahan tak baat clear hogi. Ye sab business team likhegi. Product team ka iska koi role nahi hai. Ye sab kuch a good business team in a good company actually writes a BRD like this. So, this is the typical BRD business presents a requirement which product understands and hence works on the same based on the product strategy. Awesome. Now, what is a BRD? PRD ke liye sab log wait kar rahe A PRD is like a love letter to your engineering team if written comprehensively. A PRD is like a love letter to your engineering team if it's written comprehensively, right? A PRD is a document such that that the if the product manager does not even exist, if the product manager is not there, the business automatically understands who what what has to be done. So